I created stunning YouTube thumbnails using an AI tool that I built myself using Google Gemini and a little bit of cloud coding. First, a little story why I decided to make this tool. YouTube thumbnail designing is very lucrative business in 2026. I myself am, am a YouTube creator. I know how essential this is. I need to have good thumbnails, but you can either use Canva to create these thumbnails, which is not professional. They don't look as good as they should be. Or you can use Photoshop, which is pricey and you need to learn how to use it. Or you can use Fiverr and use a designer who creates these uh, YouTube thumbnails for you, but they can cost as much as 50 bucks. So it's not cheap. Or another option that we have is using Pixels. This is an AI tool that recreates thumbnails for you. This tool is pretty good, but again, it's very pricey. So I kind of got sick and tired of everything and I decided, you know what, I'm just going to make my own AI tool that does that job. What I did, I jumped on Gemini 3.0, a little bit of code, and I created my own tool. And this is the tool I just showed you with these thumbnails. All right, let me actually show you how it works. On the left side, we have master output. This is the quality of the image that I want. I have visual DNA. This is the style I want to copy. So let's say I have a favorite YouTuber, for example, this one. Parker prompts. I want to copy his style. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to import one of these YouTube thumbnails to my tool. Oops, this is my code. So here it is. This is where you paste your re reference YouTube thumbnail. And then in the subject identity, you can paste your own avatar. Let's go with one of his. Um, I Actually, this is a pretty good one. So I'm going to open this video like this. And I have to just copy the link, copy that link, go back to my tool. Not this one, this is the code, but the dragon fight. And you're going to see why I called this tool dragon fight. <laughs> it's pretty cool. So here I'm going to paste the link and it's going to uh, scrape the thumbnail. So click link and boom, we have the actual thumbnail. And here in the identity, I'm going to put my face. So I'm going to click upload a local file. And these are the thumbnails that I already created. So I'm going to go to desktop and here should be my face. There we go. Hit that. Very simple, very straightforward. Now I have a prompt here and I'm going to say, please swipe or swap my face from the face of the thumb uh, with the face, my face with the face from the thumbnail. There we go. And I'm going to hit synthesize and now watch what happens. Boom. Dragon fight. <laughs> That's why I call it. I love these animations. I created this uh, from scratch because I really, really like creating, like designing stuff. So uh, boom, there we go. Boom. So <laughs> that's me. And that's the same style of the image. How cool is that, guys? I'm blown away. I didn't show my face, but this is my face. There we go. So that's me. And it actually mimics what he mimics. So basically, it creates my facial um, expression as what he has. But what I can do, I can actually say to change my facial expression to, let's say, make my facial expression ex uh, surprised, surprised like this. So uh, expression surprised. There we go. And I'm going to hit synthesize. And now I still have the old version, the one that we just created, but now it should create a new one with a facial expression that it's surprised. So let's see if it actually can handle it. It should, I mean, uh, how cool is that, this animation? I mean, I have so many animations here, like, guys, you cannot believe. I mean, I've tested mood for maybe, maybe 20, 30 animations. And I've been adding, adding, adding. Oh, there we go. So now I look surprised. So this is pretty good. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually ask the to change my uh, T-shirt, T-shirt color from black to yellow. So I can kind of match what he has, yellow. Hit enter. So let's see. And booyah. Okay, so it's good. We have my t-shirt, we have the logo. By the way, I can actually use this logo for this video that I'm recording right now. So to do that, I'm using Gemini. So I need to put a Gemini logo somewhere. Let's do some research due diligence, guys. So Parker has, let's see what he has. He's holding the Gemini logo in his hands here. Uh, I don't know what we can do. Let's, 
I don't know. Let, let, I'm going to just let the tool decide what to put. That's my code, by the way. This is the back end. So uh, we can come back to that later because I've been changing some stuff. For example, I have the Dragon, dragon icon here because I usually use the font awesome so i have the dragon icon but i mean we can swap it with something else for example we can use i don't know a wolf let's see wolf <laughs> okay let, let's try this one okay oh this is not bad okay so i'm gonna copy this uh html file so i want to do fa wolf bow out like this let's see if it works we go back here And let's go to the preview. Let's see. Yes, we now have a wolf as an icon here. Okay, that's good. I've been playing around with these two guys. So yeah, sorry about that. But yeah, let's go back to designing thumbnails. This is why we are here, right? And we're going to change the, the, the background. So I want to say, you know what? Oh, by the way, I can come back to any of these thumbnails. Let's say I want to come back to this one with a black t-shirt or to this one, not surprised. And now I can tell the AI, well, change this one or work with this one. But let's keep this one, the yellow one, surprise. So I'm going to say, uh, change the change the background text to, say, Gemini. All right. Or like, let's say, Google Gemini. Google Gemini, like this. And like this. Let's see if it's going to do a good job. Usually it does. I mean, guys, I'm blown away. Look at this. Usually a designer will charge you 50 bucks to create just one of these. And I already have like three in a couple of seconds. On top of that, to create this, you need Photoshop skills. You need Canva. Never is going to, Canva is never going to create some, something similar. Uh, you need a lot of editing in Canva to create these type of uh, thumbnails and maybe you're not they're gonna not gonna be the same i know for a fact because i've been using canva for many many years Ooh, i like this but it actually wiped my yellow t-shirt so now i'm gonna uh tell actually let me save this i really really like this i'm gonna save it here and i'm gonna say make my t-shirt from black to yellow or change change my t-shirt color from black to yellow. Guys, look at this. I'm so, and this is 1K. This is 1K. I have 2K and 4K format. So let's give it a try. Oh, you know what? I'm going to tell the two also. I'm going to tell the two to put a Gemini logo on my t shirt. Like I work for Gemini. <laughs> That's going to be dope. But first, let's see if he's going to create my yellow t shirt. All right. I like it. And now, Final edit. Guys, by the way, this is going to be my thumbnail for this video. I'm going to say, mm, add a logo of, add the logo of Google Gemini somewhere on my t-shirt. The colorful, add the Google Gemini colorful logo somewhere on my t-shirt. Boom, synthesize. So now, I like it. I, I mean, it's not, it, it's good. It's not bad. So I'm actually going to save it. Can you make the Google Gemini logo 3D. <laughs> Let's see. 3D. Synthesize. But yeah, guys, I don't know what to do with this too. So if you want, if you want the two, if you want me to release it to the public, comment down below public with the word public. And I might just roll it out to the public. I have to just put it on my servers. I like this. I guys, I think this is it. I don't know which one to choose as a thumbnail for this video. This one or the other one. I like this one. Well, we changed the text behind me, but that's fine. I mean, I like it. Let's try another one. Let's try something else. Let's try, I don't know. Uh, I need Gemini. Okay, so let's see. Uh, thumbnails. Thumbnail. Thumbnails. AI. So I want to mimic something that's related. 178. This one is make thumbnails like pro. Okay, this is not bad. So let's actually, this is a thumbnail. Oops. This is the actual thumbnail. All right, so let's grab this thumbnail like that and go back to the two. Not this one, this one. But I have to reset everything, unfortunately. 
So I'm going to actually use this tool that is on my working desk. This is the working environment. So again, I'm going to upload the YouTube link. It upload. There we go. We have the thumbnail right here. And now I need my face, which is right here. And now I'm going to say, can you put my face on the uh, thumbnail? There we go. Hit enter, synthesize. All right. So not bad. Not bad. Actually, it's pretty good. That's pretty good, guys. I mean, I like it. I'm going to save this one. So I, I don't even know which one to use as a thumbnail of this video. Make my jacket from black to... Should I make it red? Let's try red. So my leather jacket. So make my leather jacket from black to red. Let's see. <laughs> this is going to be a PIMP, pimp jacket. Ah, uh, leather jacket. So let's see. I need a Harley Davidson and I'm going to be fine with this kind of a jacket. Ooh, I think we have a winner. Let's save this image as well. This is nuts. This is, should I, should I tell the two to put like a Gemini logo on my jacket? Let's try. <laughs> this is getting too much, but put a Google Gemini logo on my jacket. There you go. <laughs> We're going to see. This is nuts, guys. I mean, this is so powerful. So what I'm using here, by the way, I'm using three engines. I'm using uh, Gemini, I'm using Nano Banana, and I'm also using Claude. And Claude gives me a bit of snippets of code that I paste. And sometimes I rewrite some of the uh, snippets of the code. And sometimes I ask the AI to write them. But um, yeah, uh, it's a bit of technical. It's not, I'm not a programmer. I'm not a technical a genius. I just know how to copy him. Oh, okay. I like it. Okay, I like it. So now I don't know which one I'm going to choose for this video, guys. I think the one with the yellow t-shirt, this one, is the best. Or maybe just a yellow t-shirt without a logo. You know, this looks clean. Which one? Or maybe this one. This looks good. Guys, I don't know now which one should I pick. It's difficult now that I have played around with these two. Or this one. You know what? I'm just going to ask the two put sunglasses put sunglasses on the face of the person with red jacket because sometimes he doesn't know the reference between if i say put sunglasses on me or on my face so just to be sure i say put the sunglasses on the face of the person with the red jacket even though that's me sometimes it get confused it doesn't know because like we have a bunch of people so it's this guy on the right we have another guy on the left so sometimes when i say me it might actually pick another person so this Ooh, let's go we have a winner guys i think i'm gonna use this one <laughs> this is so dope but yeah there we have it i just built this tool with no code it took me maybe three days to build this tool and now it works if you want to learn more about making money online and uh, how I actually make my money and how I find profitable topics and niches to create digital products and courses around, watch my other video, which is the previous before that. I'm going to put a link down in the description or I can link it somewhere here on the top left or right corner. You can watch it. I'm walking you through step by step how to make money by finding a profitable underground niche or topic that no one utilizes. But these topic and niches are full with people who are eager to buy products and solve their problems so yeah i'll see you in this video i hope this one uh you liked it give a thumbs up if you like the video subscribe to the channel if you're new and i'll see you in my next one cheers